<laughs> Alright, we're here on the coffee hour with Tony. I'm down at the coffee exchange on 526 South Day Home. Uh, what's the phone number here, Tony? 6350277. Alright, tell me the story of how your mom Donna and you acquired this place. Well, about a year ago, my mom was kind of unhappy back in Milwaukee and not dealing with winters too well. Here it gets cold, but at least it's sunny. Um, and she wanted a change and some certain circumstances happened in her life that um, she was not needed in Wisconsin anymore. My grandmother had passed and my sister, her husband and two kiddos are moving to Florida. So she was the last of her family in Milwaukee and decided to come here to be with me and we said we should maybe start something together as a family run business and I've been doing this for 25 years so she automatically said let's do a coffee shop. That's awesome. That's, that's that. <laughs> it must be pretty cool to be able to spend all this time with your mom. It really is. Um, growing up we were pretty close. Moved out here about 18 years ago and only saw my family three four times a year when I went back to Milwaukee. Um, and my sister's had her the past 11 years since she had her first daughter. So now it's my turn. All right. <laughs> um, what makes the coffee exchange different from all of your competitors? Oh, wow. Um, several things. One, our atmosphere. Um, I've been to some other coffee shops and uh, they're pretty sterile, pretty clandestine. The, the, uh, the counter help is less than friendly. Um, here at the coffee exchange, um, I'm sitting on one, but we've got several couches, we've got office chairs, we've got our, um, just kickback chairs, you can read a book and have a cup of coffee. The, it's really quiet here during the day, you know, we're expanding our hours to the evening as well. We've got free Wi-Fi, you don't need a card, you don't need a password, you know, you just come in here, open up your laptop, log on, and that's it, you know, we just ask that you buy a cup of coffee. Cool. You can sit here for an hour or two, whatever, you know, and uh, I don't know, and our coffee's incredible. So we, we've got a really good product. We've got really good people here. Can you tell me a little bit about the coffee you use? Oh, sure. We get it from Barista um, Espresso Roasters in Colorado Springs. It's on uh, like Fifth and Colorado. I'm um, right on the north side of I-25. And Glenn's our coffee guy. Glenn actually owned this place a couple owners ago. And they have a really good product. They've got a following of that product. And people come here looking for that coffee. Um, coffee's rated one to 10. Um, one being not so good, 10 being the best, we get an 8. Um, our Kona is excellent, it's a higher percentage blend than any other. We do get, we can get regular Kona as well, 100%. Um, there's other coffees that buy less than um, acceptable coffee and roast it too long and get a consistent taste, but that taste a little burnt. So uh, we, every pot we brew, every blend we have is ground differently, it's a different weight, and it's filtered differently, so every brew is definitely a different flavor. And that's organic free trade coffee. Yes, sir. Correct? It is. Cool. Um, tell me about what's going on this weekend. I know you got some big events Friday and Saturday here. Yeah, we do. Um, we've had a grand opening week since Monday. We've had some great things going on. Um, we've got Wii Gaming Systems here, so Monday and Tuesday we had people come down for that. Um, and then uh, Bristol Brewery we have on tap, so they came down here. Did some giveaways tonight being Friday the 15th. Um, N.L. Moore, she's a local artist and photographer, and there's a couple pictures behind me, I believe, um, that we're showcasing this evening. I believe she has about 20 pieces of work here. Um, we're they're doing, beautiful. Uh, yeah, they're amazing. Um, they're even down the hall and in the bathrooms. Um, and we're doing a showing for her from five to seven. We're having complimentary hors d'oeuvres and wine. Um, so, you know, if someone wants to come down tonight, it's a really good night to come get to know us, relaxed atmosphere, not too loud, don't have to yell at each other just to have a conversation, um, hang out with some good people, look at some really beautiful photography. And Nancy will be here as well all night. And then uh, tomorrow night is Saturday, we're having Xanthi come down. She's from Colorado Springs, actually Manitou. Um, and she's playing from 7 to roughly 9.30 on Saturday. Um, we're doing some drink specials, coffee, and bar. And then Sunday, we're just having a kickback Sunday. You know, we're gonna have board games, the Wii games, re, uh, whatever football games, hockey's on. Um, so come on down and just relax and just drink some coffee and hang out with some good folks. Now, are you gonna be doing uh, art shows regularly, like every month? 
Yeah, um, actually each artist gets a month. We'll feature them for a month. Um, Nancy's getting a month and a half because we really like her. I'm right. not saying that because she's right <laughs> over there. Um, yeah, so every month we'll have a new artist and every time we do have a new artist here being photography, painting, whatever, the medium, um, we'll do a showing for them just to get people down here, get them exposed and have fun. Cool. What about music on Saturdays? Uh, we're going to try to be consistent with that. Um, definitely try to keep it local. Um, have a lot of good friends who are in the music business or have been on tour with their bands and now they're just they're done and they just want to come out and uh, support local great and uh, have a good time who's your uh, favorite barista <laughs> and, and why well I'd have to say my mom but I'd have to say Kelly too so anyway now Kelly's great Rick's great we've got a really good staff here um, me and my mom are here every day Rick and Kelly are here almost every day um, Everyone's good at what they do. They're very pleasurable to be around and uh, can make a damn good fine cup of coffee, if I say so. I've been coming here almost every day lately and uh, the coffee's excellent. The atmosphere is great. I love coming here. Love your mom, love Rick, Kelly. Cool. So uh, thanks a lot. Do you have anything you want to add, Tony? Um, if you like coffee, if you like people, if you like having fun, come on down. We. Uh, we're not overcoming sitting on the couches with anybody and, and hanging out. We've got a we got a bunch of new uh, regulars coming in. I'm gonna have to start charging rent, but uh, actually, <laughs> in, in the coming months, it's gonna start getting warm out. We have a patio outside too. Um, there's about six, eight tables out there, and uh, I don't know. It's just great down here. I uh, just moved down here a month ago or a year ago, and I'm finding this probably the favorite, my most favorite city I've ever lived in. And, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just really glad that this is happening, and I'm I'm very grateful for all the people who have come down here and supported us and continue to support us. Um, I just think community's kind of a thing of the past, and I don't know. I just I think we're helping bring a little bit of community back to Southern Colorado Springs. So it's Spe fun. Speaking of which, I know you're a really busy guy. <laughs> you know what else? What else are you doing besides helping your mom out with the coffee exchange? Saving the planet. No. <laughs> <laughs> I started going back to school before we even kind of thought of this, so I'm doing school full time. Um, I do have a nonprofit that's trying to help uh, at risk youth. I'm still trying to figure out something with that down here and up in Breckenridge. Um, skateboarding, trying to do that like four days a week. Going to the gym, I got three dogs. Those guys keep me busy, <laughs> and I don't know, just trying to keep my head above water and staying positive. So. Great. Well, congratulations Thanks. on the shop. Thanks. And Appreciate good luck it. with your venture. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Tony. Thanks.